Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire, the Nuzlocke Challenge. I stopped doing what I was doing because I remembered this guy has Bullet Seed, so I'm going to get this from him right now and go back to that cave where that guy was, where t -Mock was hiding out right now. I like filling my, seed, my mouth with seeds and spitting them out fast. You can have this seed tried out. I see you're a spitter, huh? We learn to move for firing seeds rapidly. Sweet. You train the TM09. Alright. And I also remembered that there is an item over here that I can now cut. A tree to get to. Josh, he's cut. That's accuracy. That's it. Got my first item. Oh, whatever. Alright. I'll meet you guys over at the cave now. Alright, I'm back in front of the cave, and now I'm going to teach Bullet Seed to Ian, I think. Yep, Ian can learn it. Of course he can. Ian already knows four moves. Which move should be deleted? Let's see. I'll get rid of Growl. And poof! Ian forgot how to learn Growl and learn Bullet Seed. Cool. Alright, now let's talk to this old guy, see what he has to say. Oh, what am I to do? Yeah, we're on a walk, Pico and I. We were jumped by an odd thug. This country made off my darling Pico. Ooh, why do people roar? Pico! Alright, let's do this. Do you have Pokeballs? I really. Yeah, of course I do. Okay, what's my first Pokemon of this section? Wizmore! Hopefully. Let's see. Um. Let me try Fury Cutter right now. Okay. I know it gets stronger the next time, so hopefully. It doesn't actually. Okay. Hopefully, I'll be able to capture it. I'll use a Pokeball. Alright, sweet. Wizmer. Let's see. What should I name it? Wizmer is very timid. If it starts to cry loudly, it becomes startled by its own crying and cries even harder. When it finally stops crying, the Pokemon goes to sleep all tired out. Oh, that's cute. Yes. Hmm. What should I name him? How about Polly? Or just Paul? Yeah, I'm good with Paul. Right. Should I grab the. No. I'm gonna go ahead and fight this guy. Come and get some then. Alright. Grah! Kill Hulk! What? Yes, I want to bother you. <clears throat> what do they have? Luciana? Alright, Barry. Fury Cutter. Super effective. It's weird how Bug is, like, super effective against Psychic and Dark. I mean, I know they have to have something, but Bug just seems so, I don't know, pointless. No. Is there any any way Bug could be super effective against Dark and Psychic type things? Am I missing, like, some cultural thing? There's no clue. Alright, we'll have the Devon Goods, and I saved this guy's Pico. Pico owes her life to you. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are... Mm -hmm. Ah, so you are Ruby. I sincerely thank you. Now, if there's anything that troubles you, don't hesitate to tell me. You can usually find me in my cottage by the scene of Petalburg Woods. Come, Pico. We should make our way home. Pio! Alright, let me grab this. Dang it. 
I'm just gonna cut this out. Alright. I am back. I really just did not wanna waste a lot of my time with that Wismer. Oh my god. Please don't be another one. Oh my god, it's another Wismer. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, all these Wismers that I've been finding have been slowly like whittling down my HP, Barry's HP. So I am going to use Potion. Who's Josh, what do you have? Just keep picking up stuff, man. Ooh, Super Potion. Sweet. I'll take that. Thank you. Oh my god! Another Wismer. No, normally I wouldn't have a problem with Wismers, but... Or Pokemon in general, it's just that there's so many of them in that cave. Mm, roar! That goofy goon, I tilted it out of the tunnel. I can go back to digging. Mmm, roar! Same thing. Roar. Alright. Now let me grab this item. I think this is the same. No! Where are the sunglasses then? I know they're around here somewhere. Oh well, whatever. I will cut this. Josh, cut. Josh, cut. Josh, cut. Josh, cut. All right, cool. Now I can see what this item is. Ooh, an ether. Let's see. Put this guy Devin Goods. You know, how did they go? The Devin Goods? Oh, you did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. Yeah. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. All right. Whatever. Ooh, third floor. Ooh, president's office. Sweet. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us. Could I get you to... What the hell is your problem, sir? What are you gonna give me in return? Piece of shit. Okay. Give you two? Alright. What does this guy want to say? Hi, I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once, but twice. No, it was not your staff. It was that douche. Doesn't know what he's doing. Alright, excuse me. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to the I, did I never said I would do that. Could you stop off and do for town? What? I don't work for these guys. <laughs> Why are they making me do stuff for them? So ten year old. Okay. Ooh. What's he giving me? Ooh, a poker nav. It's an indispensable tool for any train on adventure. Oh, it has a map? Okay. Alright. Well, since he gave it to us, let's check it out. Check out the map. Alright, we are in Westboro. And. Different is right there. Slateport is right there. So I guess we know who we have to talk to now. Okay. Let's go. Let's go see Mr. Barney. Soon as I, this is guy say hi there. You're always welcome here. Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> so I am going to heal up, and I will meet you guys in front of Mr. Barney's hut house. Actually, before I do that, let's see what May has to say. 
Oh, hi, Ruby. How's your Pokedex coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. I caught Pokemon in Petalburg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. Is that really all she has to say to me? Oh, fine. Whatever. Alright, now I'll seriously meet you guys in, in front of Mr. Briny's cottage. Alright, I am back in front of Mr. Briny's cottage. Let's see what he has to say. Let's see if he can give me a ride. If I can catch him. I'm just playing with this freaking... Okay, hold on, lass. What up, Pico? Hmm, you're Ruby. You said my darling Pico. You know, so how old is this man? Just playing with a Pokemon. Quite the busy life you must lead. Exactly. I'm ten years old and you're... I'm ten years old delivering packages and shit across the world. And you're playing in here with your freaking bird. Yes, we'll set sail for Duford. Duford, here we come. Anchors away! Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. I don't know. This guy probably has a sad life, though. I mean, he lives in a cottage by himself. His only poke his only thing dear to him is probably like that Pico, and maybe his boat. In fact, he probably does have like a sad story he has to tell. Oh well, we'll probably never find out. The whole way we hit we hit landing Duford. I suppose you're off to deliver that letter to who was it now, Stephen? Yes, indeed. Now, let's go find Steven. I believe he's in that cave, right? Oh, but first the battle. Fisherman Ned sent out Tentacool, which means Barry's gonna fuck him up. Can he absorb with him? Um, don't think that would be wise. We will send out Ian, see what he has to do. Alright, constrict. I shouldn't do too much. And now, uh, bullet seed for the first time ever. This is, this is what happens. Uh. Isn't this... Isn't Tentacool have, like, ability where if I, if I use Absorb or something like this, I get damaged instead of healed? No, I guess not. You know what, I'll, I'll put Barry back in. And go slightly faster. Alright, Barry, let's do this. And fucking poisoned. I swear. If this is how Barry. No, Barry won't die. Barry can never die. I plan on using him forever. Oh my god, no. Hurry up and kill Tentacle. This bastard! Oh my god! This cunt! Alright, Barry, come back. Um. Rose, come on out here. No, not to, to confuse me. Come on, Rose. Dang it! Alright, bite. Why oh, don't use poison stuff? Jeez. Ah! Oh my god. Rose! No! <laughs> Um, let's try Gertrude then. Am I really getting worked by a tentacle? Alright, I'm gonna have to pause right here. See you guys next time.